All right, guys. So um, we had some questions about how to show your work for the plotting integers and statements of inequality homework. So for questions um, one through four, they're pretty simple. You're just looking at a number line and picking. So for example, number one, um, on your work paper, you'll just have to say, it says, which letter best shows negative 43? Well, B best shows negative 43. So on number one, I'm just gonna write the letter B. For number two, which letter best shows negative 96? It might be A, so for number two, I would just write A. Now you're gonna do the same type of thing for three and four, because you're just identifying the points. Now, five through 10, you're supposed to draw a number line to justify your answer. So in class, we talked about how numbers that are further to the left are less, and how numbers that are further to the right are greater on the number line. So all you have to do is you have to pick your correct answer, and then you have to justify it with a number line on your work paper. So for example, if we're looking at number five, um, number five says to choose the correct statement of inequality. So I'm gonna look down the list there, and I see it's the first one. Negative five is greater than negative six. This is my true answer. So I'm going to justify that by putting them on a number line and showing that negative five is further to the right. So just like in class, we're gonna start with our zero, and then I've got negative one, two, negative three, negative four, negative five. I'm gonna mark that this is my negative five. I'm gonna mark that this is my negative six, okay? So by doing so, I am justifying my statement of inequality by showing that negative five is further to the right, so it's greater. You're gonna do the same thing for number six. You're gonna pick which one is true and draw that number line. Now, number seven and number eight are just asking you to plot. So you're gonna draw a number line, okay? You're gonna start with your zero in the middle, and then you're gonna plot all four of these. So for example, for the first one, negative two, I would put on my number line. Here's my negative two. And I would do the same thing for zero, negative four, and two, and then pick whichever answer choice number line matches my number line. Same thing for number 12. And then on number um, four, or sorry, not number 12. It's actually number eight, sorry. Um, number 10, you're gonna do the exact same thing. You're gonna write your statement of inequality, and then you're just gonna put three and negative three on the number line um, to justify your answer. Now, the last ones, number um, 11, 12, and 13. You're just looking at this number line and identifying. So for number 11, it wants H. So I would say H is that point positive two. And then number 12 is wanting a different point. So you just write those down. So that's how you show your work for this assignment.